What up gamers, Fence here here, and welcome back to Marvel's Midnight Sun. So guys, let's go and finish off this battle here. Let's go for the um yeah, just pretty much anything to finish off this guy. Yeah, we just need to just play any card, I guess. I think I can punch through a moon now. Nice level up. Let's go do this. That <laughs> blade. Dang it. Yeah, I wish, you know, it was kind of like a combo attack, you know, like how we, how we just both attack it We've instead of like <laughs> hurting Blade. I Level up. Like every... What is this thing? Bad guy crane, full of bad guy stuff. I know those symbols from the time of the first hunt. That glyph means barrier. That one almighty. Something, something. Gods and demons. So a spooky bad guy crate. Very spooky. Designed to contain powerful magic. Be careful. <laughs> Got it. Don't cross the streams. Never do. How about we get this thing back to the Abbey and see for ourselves? All right. Yep, already a victory. <laughs> a two-star rating. Hmm. Can she survive? Gonna continue. How many star ratings are there? Because I'm guessing the max would be something like maybe, you know, normal like three or five or ten. I want to guess maybe three. Because I thought in that battle we didn't do too bad. That was a pretty good battle. That I was able to do. All right, let's go ahead back and uh, see what's up with uh, the thing that we got. But you're not sure where the story's going to go. I think right now we're just trying to pick up some clues. Like what we got right now with the, the box. And some gamma stuff that the Hydra guys had. I do wonder if Captain America will play a part. Because, you know, wasn't he also just against Hydra <laughs> in his own movie? I like Captain America. It's my favorite. One of my favorites. Like Blade, you know. One of my favorites. Hey, friendship. <laughs> I I made up with nice Blade. Job out there, kid. I mean, I didn't get Hydra bombed until my tenth run with the Avengers. Kid, you do know that I am a good three centuries older than you, right? Then you've got a lot of catching up to do. Okay, Abbey tournament tonight. Sure about that? Last one got a little heated. The Eternal Spirits of Vengeance take technical fouls very seriously. Especially in fourth quarter. Forget it. Tonight is movie night. It is always movie night. Exactly. Wow. Out of jail again? Who made this game? Wilson Fisk? Well, if parking yeah. is free, clearly no one from Manhattan. You know what they say. Yeah, all these no names just no being thrown around just kind of feels random. Up with Ultron. Like, I, I'm, we're probably not going to see Fisk you should or out. Kingpin. All right. Uh, go to bed. Let me see. Oh, Let this work again. Uh, a super link. Nico has sent you a message on super link. Um, open the pause or strategy pause menu using that. Then use LB. Okay. Oh, is it a is it a DM? Oh, like a personal message. Um, Hunter, you there? Uh, by the way, this is Nico. In case nobody gave you the rundown on how the spark works, Blade and Cap Marvel just filled us in. Freaky stuff. Especially Faustus. And then they all just left me here alone. You should come hang out. Thank you, but I am tired. Wait, we can choose another conversation? Oh, okay. <laughs> Can't. Only just one option. Oh, what the heck? Check the door. In there, you just replied to me. <laughs> okay, what's up? Good, you answered. 
getting hard to keep finding ways to say open door around here. And despite what Robbie says, I don't think the staff of one speaks high elven. Blood magic stuff. Cool room. Spacious. Oh, is that bed for Charlie? Yes. Yes. So, if you're planning on giving me some sort of brooding code of the stoic warrior speech, I'm immune. Just ask later magic. From what I just saw out there, whatever crazy ancient living weapon stuff caretaker put you through back in the day did a real number on you. We got a lot of work to do. Work? Yeah, talking to people, making friends, basic human stuff. Or quasi-human. <laughs> You're a midnight sun now. One of us. Nico, I was just Hydra bombed. I could use some rest. You and me both. Been bad dreams every night for me lately. I, uh, keep seeing Wanda. She... Never mind. I will meet you outside. Yes! I'll go nuke us some popcorn and you pick out a movie. Oh, and it may just be the two of us. The others went outside, needed to cool off. Really need to hang a fan over that forge, or... Maybe crack open the casket of Agent Winterton? I mean, why why do I have to choose the movie? I just came back from the dead. <laughs> I don't think I know what, what's good or not to watch. Alright. So Dr. Faustus tried to drop a warehouse on you? Ugh, that guy is so lame. Talk about a prototypical follower. So do we just join the hangouts? Why? Watching a movie. <laughs> what is this? I guess we get friendship. Ada, I see that the gaming co like controllers. I know this entire situation's gotta suck for you. Not just the whole resurrected chosen one thing. I get why facing Lilith won't be easy. I was 15 when I found out my mother was capital E evil. Um Yeah, I'm not I don't know much about her character. Um so I was when I when I found out. Nah. Um, that's terrible. Sorry to hear you went through that. It was bad, but I learned. Man, I got to be bad. nice to everyone. It's the only way forward. Right? The thing is, I don't even know if there's a Look, I'm glad like a like a bad or evil but, ending. Yeah. Hold on, let me check that out. Hear her voice again. Some days I'd give anything to make that happen. Makes me hate her even more. Um. Yeah, sorry. I, I didn't know. I did not realize you carried such pain. I just learned to bury it. You think I can afford a therapist on a superhero salary? I'm kidding. We don't get paid for this. Uh, enough about our crappy parents. You missed out on decades of good movies. It's my solemn duty to fill this knowledge gap with the best examples I can provide. So... The first thing you need to know, the glowing briefcase is a metaphor. I won't forget it. Okay, so I I looked it up. Oh my my voice, hold on. <laughs> voice is uh, a bit weird. Let me clear my throats. Okay, good. Yeah, so I looked it up. Um oh, a new outfit. So what did you think of the movie? I understood more than I should. Oh, really? How? You've been dead for three centuries. I'm not so sure I was dead. Not exactly. I recall a deep slumber, not the void. I... I dreamt. Of what? Of everything. Much of this world is familiar to me. I know it from my dreams. Uh, that's not creepy at all. So, do you know everything? No, I... I think of it like this. I know what a car is, but I have no idea how to drive. You're up to date, but not omniscient. Then I'm guessing you don't know much about me. Just what you shared earlier. You're always free to ask. Like, what's the staff of one, or who were the runaways? Um, sure. I mean, 
Let's learn about her character. I don't know. I don't. I don't know anything. Uh, I don't know anything about her. Um, but yeah, I did look up the. You know, if it has multiple endings, it only has one ending, and and like the choices we make doesn't really matter. But there is this whole um, mention of a of a light and dark gauge thing. So, I mean, if there's a light side and dark side stuff, I'm gonna go for a dark side. I wonder how that works out. Um, about the staff of one. I had some questions about your staff. Uh, sure. Uh, but first, um, the basics. The staff of one interprets words or phrases as spells, but it can only cast a spell once. No repeats. Wow. So if I just say fireball, I can I can't just use it again. How does it work exactly? Can you tell me how the Staff of One functions? It's uh, blood magic, so my own blood is required to summon it. You wouldn't believe how many adhesive bandages I go through each year. What about the words you speak? They come true. Uh, kind of. And not always the way I expect. It's like making a wish, but you can never make the same wish again. Yeah, it, it does feel very limited. I, I, I wanted to say that. <laughs> I was hoping she would give an example of like that in action. Like, I'm not sure what about the staff of one. I'm guessing it's just her weapon. But yeah, what is her powers? <laughs> Can I ask you about the Runaways? I had some questions about your old team. The Runaways? Sure thing. How did you become a team? Were you all heroes who banded together? No, we were normal kids. We saw each other once a year when our parents got together to reminisce. And then we found out two very disturbing things. <laughs> First, our parents were supervillains who sacrificed children to evil gods. Oh my. Second, each of us had some sort of powerful birthright. Our parents wanted us to follow in their footsteps. Then you run away. What did you do? Run away. We ran. But eventually, we realized only the six of us could stop our parents and their dark gods. So we faced them and stopped them from destroying reality as we know it. You know, typical kid stuff. That's interesting. I like that. Who were the runaways? Who was on the team? At first, uh, Chase with his mad science gear. Molly, our pint-sized powerhouse. Carolina, the solar-powered sweetheart. Gert had a telepathic link to Old Lace, a genetically engineered Deinonychus from the 87th century. I handled the blood magic, though I didn't understand it much. And Alex? Uh, well, we don't talk about Alex. Well, let's talk about Alex. <laughs> nah, um, who are the runaways today? Where are your friends now? Molly attends Xavier's school for gifted youngsters. Carolina left Earth to marry alien nobility. Gert... She, uh, she didn't make it. After Gert passed, uh, Chase and I had a falling out. The last I heard, he and Old Lace are living at his family home in L.A. As for Alex, uh, he chose his side, and it wasn't ours. He died with our parents. I guess we talked about Alex. <laughs> about the staff of one? I had some questions about your staff. Oh, it's her staff, okay. Go for it. Nope. It seems powerful, but limited. If each magical effect is unique, do you worry you will run out of words? Not really. I only use the staff's power when I truly need it. The rest of the time, I rely on more conventional means. Like, you know, magic. Okay, so you don't have to use it like, I guess the way it's, in it's intended. But like when you do use it, like with the, the words and stuff, I'm guessing it's a more powerful effect. I should go. I should get going. Uh, good, good timing. Um, looks like caretaker wants to speak with you. And wow, I should get to bed. Time flies when you're hanging out. Yeah, I saw her behind me. So. I'm glad to see you're using your free time productively. What's up? Looks like you're finding your way around. Maybe making some new friends. I was planning on getting some rest, but... Things are moving at a frantic pace. For all we know, I'll be landing a jet on the roof with Mr. Stark this afternoon. 
Not quite like it was in the good old days. Were they really that good? I remember many sleepless nights and blood-soaked days. Always on the hunt. I'll give you that. But there were times back then I wouldn't trade for anything. With both you and... Agatha. Where is Agatha? I am sorry. I should have had this talk with you much sooner. But you should know... Agatha... She's no longer with us. What? Th that is impossible. She was so... Fierce. Indomitable. Or maybe just kind to a fault. Um, if this is too hard for you... You do not have to do this. Thank you. But I do. I haven't spoken to anyone about what happened. And more so than anyone, you deserve to know. Agatha died in an accident caused by her protege, <laughs> Wanda Maximoff, the Scarlet Witch. The Midnight Sun's latest recruit, a powerful spellcaster in her own right. Perhaps the most powerful Agatha and I had ever seen. Wanda's abilities were growing too quickly for my liking. Agatha was determined to help her control them. I tried to caution her, but she would not listen. There was an incident. An accident, I'm sure, but... Agatha was killed. Yes, incinerated in an instant. Not even Ash to remember her by. The others were heartbroken, as was I. But I also saw the danger, the threat, if Wanda's powers were left unchecked. So I did what needed to be done. I sent Wanda away, to the Sanctum Sanctorum, to study under Doctor Strange. I know the others still harbor a great deal of resentment towards me for it. Ooh. Always oh, the light side and dark side stuff? Let's go for it, man. Dark side. I like... Dark side stuff. That's what I went as in, like, the Knights of the Old Republic. You made the right choice. Wanda's powers were so out of control they cost a life. Your decision may have saved lives, if not the entire Abbey. I like to believe that. Especially given her current situation. <sighs> Wanda. Agatha. It seems we have lost them both now. I conjured a small shrine to Agatha's memory on the grounds, hoping to find some solace, a way to move forward. You should pay your respects. Maybe you'll find what I couldn't. Good night, Hunter. Good night. Balance. The Hunter can follow the path of light or dark through the choices they make in the Abbey and the abilities they use in combat. Powerful rewards can be unlocked as Hunter moves down either path. Oh yeah, we'll go down down a, a dark path. Oh, Charlie. Okay. Oh, just sprints. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, we're really fast now. Yeah, I'm not following Charlie. He's following me. Oh my. So yeah, I wonder just how, you know, accurate this is all. So like maybe the comics or maybe even WandaVision. I kind of forgot what happened in WandaVision. <laughs> um, because yeah, I know those two fought and stuff. Agatha. You always did have the most remarkable eyes, Hunter. Just like your mother's. Maybe that's why you're the first. The first? To commune with the spirits, of course. <laughs> Is this a trick of some kind? Because I am not amused. Oh, it's no trick, dear. You're just the first to see me. By now you've heard I had a bit of trouble with my corporeal body. I actually find it quite liberating. You are dead. 
always straight to the heart of things. That's my hunter. You seem strangely at ease about this whole thing. After a thousand years of living, you learn to take things in stride, even death. And what have you been doing all this time? Meet me by the cave just over there. You know the one. The Bloodgate? Caretaker always told me to stay away from that place. I think we can safely lift the veil on a few more of our secrets. What's the worst that can happen? Okay. Following you. Oh man. <laughs> She's just teleporting. So what's been sealed in here for the blood seal? Oh. This ominous looking portal is known as a blood gate, and you're the only one among us who can pass through it. Blood gate? Caretaker's handiwork? Yes, Sarah got a little overprotective after the accident with Wanda. It's become something of a habit for her. I have noticed that. What lies beyond is meant for you as much as it ever was for her. Assuming you're up to the challenge, that is. You know I am. I do. But it's always polite to ask. Ominous indeed. All right. The Trial of the Elder Gods, Oshter. Open the way to locations bared. Recommended player level one. Oh, level level four. We'll begin. So is this a solo experience? I guess to maybe like it feels like one of those things where they're gonna test test us so that we can be more powerful in the end. Like we'll gain some kind of new ability or something. Not what you were expecting, is it? There was a time when the blood stood within oh. these celestial halls to prove their worth. This particular got evil Charlie's belongs to a goddess who often favored Sarah, Ashtor. Sarah caretaker was here nothing ever comes easy dear the elder gods felt their descendants needed to earn their blessings which is why they created these trials to begin with trials i should have known. this entire realm exists for that purpose trial by combat with no chance of outside interference and this is my challenge yes but i may have found a loophole they never considered why don't you try summoning your four-legged friend? Oh, wait, we can summon Charlie here? I guess maybe it makes sense. Charlie? Since he's also like one of them. The Is he a pet? are responsible for a great many creations, including your faithful companion. I think even they tend to forget that. Good luck, dear. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Defeat all enemies to complete the encounter. As the goddess of balance and order, yes, was sometimes Charlie, called the giver of justice. You can expect a fair fight, or at least her idea of one. Marked. We play a card play when KO'd. Hmm. We do have some quick and some knockback. I'm not sure how I want to deal with this wait I think I want to play howl first um it says two marked for each enemy why is there an amount I'm not sure this one we can get up up to five which I think will be worth it Okay. I am impressed. Um, let's see. 
do a knockback on Charlie? No. Um. Yeah, let's do that. You were too weak for this fight. So yeah, it's been refunded. Um. Can also do a quick slash. Your mother abandoned. You. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> Why am I talking about people's mothers now? Hold on. With this rock, can I throw it anywhere? Okay, I can. We'll do that um, later. After I use uh, this knockback. On you. Nice. Feel my call. And then we'll throw this at this guy. Nice. But we got even more. <laughs> we got so many. Nice. One more. Um, then yeah, we can't really do much. Unless I do that. Hey, wait, we can do this all in one turn, maybe. Oh no. Frick. Charlie's in the way. Yeah, Charlie's in the way. I could have done this all in one turn. If I wanted to. Yeah, I should have done the knockback first. Again, will its servants fall? Yeah, ouch. Compared to our girl, these hellhounds are nothing but mindless beasts. <laughs> I want to see Charlie. There we go. Yeah, I could have done that all in one turn, Good but. Girl, Charlie. Oh, and you too, Hunter. You finished this trial, but don't worry. The other gods are waiting. All right, easy peasy. So, do we get a new power or what? What is the trial for? Yeah, I could have done it in one turn. I just messed up. <laughs> I could have done it. Yeah, we, we didn't need we did not need to play that card. <laughs> oh no, I wonder what if there was like an achievement for that. Should have knocked back first. Oh well. Well, let's see what we gain out of that. I'm not sure. Um. Yeah, like I said, it's probably just some kind of skill or power that we obtain so that we can, you know, I guess be more unique. <laughs> it kind of feels like one of those things. When am I going to sleep, dude? <laughs> I've been trying to sleep this whole time. <laughs> I'm just still awake. Enter Oshter's Cavern. Well, I think I'll do that next time. Um, yeah, we're we're pretty much at our 30 minutes limit. Uh, next time, we shall enter the cavern and I guess uh, we'll get some new powers, maybe? That's my guess. But anyway, guys, uh, that'll be it for now. That's game. But if I lay down